Radio Your Number Business Radio. It's the midday news. My name is Regina Agada. The Nigerian Communications Commission's NCC has recommended public private partnership model as a way to bridge the yawning digital infrastructure gap in the country. Its executive vice chairman and chief executive officer, Professor Umar Garba Dambata, PPP, uh, said PPP should be leveraged to develop resilient infrastructure uh, that will advance in the nation's digital pursuits. In the keynote during a panel session during a two day 2021 virtual conference and exhibition on information, communication technology, and telecommunication, organized by the Lagos Ch Chamber of Commerce and Industry with the theme Disruptions, Resilience, and Governance in Digital Economy. The NCC chief said the concept of PPP has become one of the most commonly used models of collaboration among stakeholders to fast track socioeconomic development, whether at the global, regional, and national levels. Through the change operators that violated Central Bank of Nigeria's guidelines on foreign exchange sales will be identified for sanctions. The Association of Biru is the change operators of Nigeria said yesterday uh, in its maiden statement after the CBN stopped a $10,000 weekly allocation for BDC and licensing of new operators. APCON uh, said despite the current challenges, BDCs are still in business. APCON President Aminu Guadabe has assured members of the public that BDCs are still providing forex services. He said APCON has always worked with the CBN to ensure proper working of the foreign exchange market. The Lagos State Governor Bobajide Somoli is seeking private sector support to achieve $10 billion from agriculture by 2025. This was the focus of the five-year roadmap to develop the agricultural value chains while Lagos State has competitive and comparative advantages, addressing reporters during the flag off of the white 2021 Agricultural Value Chain Enterprise Activation Program in Lagos, Shomolo said the government was determined to enhance the state's self-sufficiency in food production from 18% to 40% and achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. Fifteen years after the birth of the controversial ASYCUDA Plus Plus World in Nigeria, the Nigerian Customs Service NCS will formally take over the project from the consortium managing the project in December 2021. The ASYCUDA World in Nigeria generates uh, over 14 trillion every year for the country from charges imposed on ports and exports passing through the country's borders. To manage the transition, the federal government on August 16 uh, inaugurated an a transition implementation committee to midwife the seamless handover of the ICT project. The Association of Brewery the Change Operators has assured members uh, that they are still providing services to people. Uh, bank chief executive officers on Thursday, however, held an emergency meeting on how to ensure compliance with the new Forex Directive of the Central Bank of Nigeria. After the meeting, they spoke uh, during a webinar organized uh, to give an update on the bank's preparedness to be the main channel of forex distribution following the recent con discontinuity of forex supply to the BDC's operators by the CBN. The executives assured the public that banks would make forex available to customers in accordance with CBN's directives. The President Major General Muhammad Buhari has pledged to increase the budget for the education sector by 50% over the next two years. This was part of the joint agreement among heads of state at the ongoing Global Education Summit in London. Special Advisor to the President on Media and Publicity, Femi Adeshino, disclosed this in a statement uh, titled President Buhari commits to increase education budget by 50% in the next two years. The Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Niyi Adebayo, has emphasized the need to sensitize medium, small and micro enterprises in the country on the benefits of the then African continental free trade area, stressing that widespread implementation of the agreement could drive Africa's aggregate gross domestic product to $3.4 trillion. Adebayo made this remark at the Roundtable Dialogue on AFCFTA agreement organized by the Nigeria's Employers Consultative Association in Abuja on Tuesday, where it received a report on the effects of ACTA on MSMEs. This is the media news. To join me on the afternoon position as more breaking news stories reach me here in the studio, I'll be sure to let you know. Good afternoon. My name is Regina Agada. Thank you.